Meg Nash teeth as pick mocking compares W Lady Louise in coronation. Meg clothes look like trash. King Charles III's coronation provided us with plenty of fashion content straight off the bat. From Katy Perry. Yes, she was really a guest at the ceremony, in a pastel dress and matching jacket. To Zara Tyndall repping the high street with her Strathbury handbag. Not to mention Kate Middleton's breathtaking coronation outfit that included touching tributes to both her late mother-in-law, Princess Diana, and the late monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, in her jewelry. And today's events have also highlighted a new style icon in the form of Lady Louise Windsor. With everyone in attendance pulling out all the stops when it comes to their sartorial choices, it was always going to be hard to stand out amongst the crowd. But Lady Louise managed to look effortlessly elegant in a sophisticated Susanna London floral dress. Sophie wore an elegant white dress under her coronation gown and a white feathered headpiece, as she turned up at Westminster Abbey with Prince Edward ahead of the crowning of King Charles and Queen Camilla, with daughter Lady Louise Windsor and son James, the new Earl of Wessex. Lady Louise arrived in a long summery lilac and white dress with matching lilac hat. Amazing. Lady Louise's whole outfit, plus makeup and hair, looked 110% better than Meghan's. She had a seat at the coronation, in the second row as opposed to Haz's third, and she appeared on the balcony. Lady Louise's fashion choices directly lead to comparisons with those of Markle. It's sad to see people scrutinize a woman's fashion choices just because it doesn't go down well with them. To these people, we say, back off. One of Meghan's rare fashion mistakes. After Markle was bashed for wearing an inappropriate dress and breaking the protocol at Trooping the Color 2018, she has once again found herself at the heart of another completely random troll controversy. This time for attending Princess Diana's niece Celia McCorkadale's wedding wearing this dress. The dress received mixed reviews among royal watchers, with some likening it to a baggy dressing gown or a pair of curtains. It really does. And not just what a mess, but what an absolutely unnecessary mess. The dresses are so similar in so many ways that I think it's basically a spotlight on TW's inability to style and dress herself. It's not just rumpled and loose, it absolutely does not fit her. And it doesn't look easy breezy, cool Californian or make her look long and thin, which I think she tries to go for not just as a matter of fashion but also because of how statuesque Catherine is. It looks like she snatched it off of another courtier with an entirely different size and shape body. It's a narcissist body dysmorphia thing. They think they are stunning and will look better in any style than anyone else. So they see someone looking gorgeous in an outfit and just know they will look better. So they order it up, put it on, and it's mirror mirror on the wall, time. Same with the hair and the cosmetic surgery. That, and the fact that she has a raging eating disorder with a highly likely body dysmorphia making her unable to grasp her own dimensions accurately as part of the disorder and or b. A need to appear drowning in her oversized clothes to appear smaller and more dainty when in fact she just appears like a slob. A goal that many a disordered eater with a warped body image has. Lady Louise and James were on the same row as Princess Anne while their parents sat in the row in front. None have formal roles in the coronation ceremony, although Edward, Sophie, Louise and James will all join the procession out of the abbey and enjoy a carriage ride back to Buckingham Palace. They will be in the third carriage behind the gold state coach carrying Charles and Camilla and another carriage for the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. After, they will appear on the Buckingham Palace balcony with other working members of the royal family for the RAF flypast.